Big up yourself. <laughs>so much for returning back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber and if you are new welcome my name is Amy and I'm going to be talking about the video that Renee just dropped uh well not just dropped but she addressed a heap load of people from Gade to Oluwa Blanco Maggie let me know your thoughts in the comment section and don't forget to hit the like button if you don't know who I'm going to be talking about UK influencer Miss R Fabulous has been in a lot of mix up with past friends and just been involved in certain situations a very popular youtuber here in the uk which has been ongoing and recently she did a story time about a situation that happened i believe this happened back in 2019 in westfield and she did a story time about that firstly i just want to touch up on that video a little bit because it links a lot with the video that she recently done because off of the back of that gade philip who they used to be very good friends they were best friends did a video obviously addressing the video that she did and now she's doing another video addressing a lot of the stuff that he said it's a little bit complicated but you'll catch on when she done that video originally my thought was it was just random like i just don't think i just didn't understand why she bought a situation that was already public because this video literally trended everywhere it went viral and everybody has spoken about it it was put to bed and bob's your uncle nobody cared anymore this is what social media is like there's always something new that comes up and everybody forgets about what happened yesterday and th that was the situation so when she came back and she did that video it was just kind of like why are you kind of digging up a digging up something that has been buried and you're trying to resurrect it and bring it back to life when it was done and dusted and obviously out of the back of that Gade then did a video and he addressed the situation he said a lot of things in his video which Miss Our Fabulous came back and cleared the air one of the biggest things that was said um, in his video was uh, the whole situation with her stating that he liked little boys and also there was a situation that happened on instagram live she addressed there was a situation that happened at a meet and greet which she addressed also um she didn't really go much into details about the whole cinema situation there was a whole load of situations that they'll both kind of shared their perspective on before i do go into the video i do want to say that at this point as a spectator just like you guys are i will never be able to say Rene is lying, God is lying. Whenever a situation happens, this happens when people break up. People always have their version of the truth and that's their truth. And unless you are actually in that situation and you lived in those moments, you won't really know the truth. And at some point when people are speaking their truth, they make it so believable because in their head, they've actually, they actually believe that that's what's happened. Whether it's a lie or not, like their lie has become their truth and that's just the general statement by the way so therefore when i commentate on these type of videos it's never this person or that person because i don't know i wasn't there but based off of what i've heard and what i've seen based off of the way that i analyze certain situation whether it's somebody's body language whether it's but you said this but then this happened that's my opinion so first of all i just want to address the the apology um because i think that's that was quite significant and actually most important because that was against the allegations were made against somebody and this was very serious allegations that he liked young boys and whether that was twisted misunderstood or misinterpreted at the end of the day for me i kind of feel like if you're going to do an apology the apology needs to be genuine did i feel like this apology was genuine possibly not and the reason why i say that is because when you make an apology and you're like um, with this whole situation that's happened, I just want to publicly make an apology to you um, if I interpreted it wrong or if I've said it wrong. I didn't mean it like that, like you liked young kids, like actual young boys, but you just like young boys younger than you. Um, obviously, I just want to apologise to that, but you always liked young boys younger. It's kind of like 
can you see how i was even confused trying to bring out the word this is a situation that really affected that person let's say because this is a massive accusation against that person and i've been finding that people do really throw out like serious allegations and i don't know if anybody has ever gone further to to take this further legally but it's like this is a type of allegations that can actually if you are an influencer or if you somebody even in the workplace that can really really affect your relationship work-wise you know that can affect brands working with you recently i spoke about a um, youtuber dobrik who's had serious allegations come against him and who actually lost um, brands working with him because of these allegations and so this is really really serious but it's almost like whenever people get into a fight and they really get venomous with their words and they're really out of anger they really really do come for people and it's really dangerous to do that because you your words you can't actually take your words back sometimes words are so powerful more powerful than we actually know and it can actually cause a lot more damage if i was in a position where somebody made an allegations against me and then they want to apologize or retract that but then they still kind of like twisting it but still trying to make it seem like i wasn't lying though but obviously the way that i said it you know like i, I want to apologize for it to me that is not genuine like do you know what i mean that's where for me i was just kind of like okay okay cool like let's keep it moving i'm glad that she addressed the whole situation with oluwa blanco because when the oluwa blanco started coming for her i honestly did not understand where it came from like i was literally like where did they where did this beef come from so the fact that she explained where it came from and then obviously she explained that they have spoken and also valentino and they've addressed the situation and that made sense to me because it was just like okay cool because when that whole thing happened it was just like where did that come from her showing the conversation when she was talking about the birthday thing like i thought to myself okay you guys stopped speaking a long time ago if you start speaking a long time ago i don't think that he would have he would have even been invited to your birthday when miss alfabulous was talking about the whole birthday situation i think it wasn't clear enough to state whether she had actually invited him to her birthday or not because it just kind of seemed like what it insinuated in her between the lines of what she didn't say could be interpreted as you could have come to my birthday and supported me but you chose not to but i still went ahead and promoted your um your bra thing and then on top of that it wasn't clear whether he had paid for her promotion because if it's a thing where you stop talking but you were still happy to collect money and still do business then it's cool but that wasn't clear what it sounded like was even though we weren't friends but because of the kind of person that i am i still promoted your stuff and obviously you showed that you gain from that like you gain followers and obviously people purchase i feel like there was still holes in that it was kind of like it needed to be clear even though we weren't friends um i was still happy to do uh, to have a business relationship hence why i promoted his stuff now he wasn't invited to my birthday because we just didn't have that relationship anymore and because i think i remember during her birthday she was saying that it was literally like close people or like even people from like friends that we don't even know about like back in the day friends that were there so if that's the case and you guys didn't have a relationship then he didn't have any business being at your birthday party anyway but that would have been nice for it to be cleared out it was interesting the fact that she um brought maggie into it and she explained her relationship with maggie again she obviously stated that she doesn't have anything bad to say about maggie but it was just the fact that maggie just kept on pushing something that she just didn't want which i can believe because during their relationship that's kind of what i saw in maggie maggie always wanted to be the glue to everything broken and that's not in a bad way she always wanted to be the light the positive side to things very mutual bringing people together bringing harmony together even the videos that she done um sitting down with gade kind of like that little counseling thing so she had that in her anyway so i can believe that and some people are just not receptive to that some people are just like yo just leave it alone and so if she decided to distance herself from that then you can't beat somebody for doing that do you know what i mean but i still will stand by the fact that i do think that um, she needed somebody like maggie in her life what i found a little bit weird or what i 
what I wouldn't have done was although she explained the reason why she was involved in other people's situation but what I did see a little bit was kind of bringing up situations that other people were involved in that she wasn't necess necessarily involved in but like um when she would say when he would speak about this person and he would speak about this person behind his back yeah like he was doing that da, da, da. it was kind of like i there was a little bit of like throwing under the bus kind of thing but obviously they don't have a relationship anymore so at this point it's kind of like you're out here trying to make me look like uh, what what was what was it she's saying again? Oh my god, I can't remember the phrase. Something about the devil or something like that. But she was like, "You're out here, let's say you're out here making me look like bad and making me look like I'm the devil." But behind closed door, people have no idea what you're like. But this is what you're doing. How do people know my business that I haven't even spoken about? Like, and people are beefing me because of you and but you're putting out there on the internet and because you already know that people hate me anyway so you're you're jumping on that like i get that like i was like do you know what it happens people do that like what makes me sad is like when people i've never really been in this type of situation and maybe that's why it's hard for me to kind of understand or relate to that like, i don't have like a bad blood with people like that to that level where we've literally like dragged each other like like that do you know what i mean and the way that renee and gade used to be friends i legit thought that they were friends longer than a year so i was quite shocked to hear that they've been friends only a year and it's sad to me that two people that literally were a power couple and when i mean couple i don't mean boyfriend and girlfriend but i mean like a power unit should i say are at this stage where they can just throw each other's dirty laundry like that and just expose each other that makes me really sad because it's like how can you have loved somebody or have been committed to somebody and then that person just means nothing to you enough for you to drag that person like to me that just seems like that love was never genuine it was always a transactional relationship it was i've invested in you and i want my investment back it was what can i gain from you when Rene was talking about um him gaining from her and when god was talking about her gaining from him like all of that stuff like that's just minor stuff like to me that stuff that is like illegitimate like to me that stuff that's like we all gain from each other in this life and that's how it should be because we all only carry pieces of what would make the world a better place we all have a piece of the puzzle if you are a unit with somebody whether it's a work relationship romantic relationship if you are in a ship with somebody then you ought to be able to work together you ought to be able to gain from each other you ought to be able to sharpen each other because iron sharpens iron and in order for iron to sharpen iron you need to be able to rub ideas you need to be able to feed off of each other bounce off of each other so this whole idea that oh in the friendship you use me uh, it's like okay but if you see me like that then you then that's the big problem on its own i've got a lot of friends who are entrepreneurs or who are doing things for themselves if my friends ever came to me and they were like can you help me do this or if my friend was to share with me their business venture and i was like okay do you know what like i can do a little bit of design like let me draft something for you you just have that natural desire to want to see that person thrive and to me that's the mentality like that i have so when i hear things like that i'm like but, but can you elaborate can you explain like why do you now feel like that person used you like how did they use you like why do you feel like somebody who you may have been on the same platform like on the same youtube platform doing the same thing and if they if they are associated to you and they gain followers by association why do why is that even a thing like why is that a problem like there is enough bread for us to eat like there is enough for us for all of us this platform is so big like if you're my subscriber you're her subscriber you're his subscriber like there is enough and a subscriber is free to subscribe it's not a thing where it's just like oh 
it's like a thing that you pay that you're scared that that person might finish all their money on subscribing to you that they won't ha have enough like it's free do you got know I mean to support somebody it's free it's it doesn't cost anything it was a very interesting video i don't really have much to say on the video like will it be the last time that this situation is spoken of like i don't know people's mental health is at stake and i just feel like until people get like really tired of being in the same cycle then you're always going to be in the same cycle and it's like when you realize that i've been doing the same method but i'm getting the same results that's the only time when you're going to actually change your method and then you'll get a different result because people are still doing the same thing going back and forth responding to this doing that you're getting the same results and then you're wondering why are people not leaving me alone because you're you're doing the same thing and expecting a different result but yeah guys let me know what you guys thoughts are in the comment section thank you so much for tuning in don't forget to hit the notification bell and i'll speak to you guys in my next video